What's going on you awesome creatives and welcome to a brand new tutorial Tuesday. In this episode we're going to be jumping into 3ds Max and learning how to create walls using three different methods. Alright guys, so as we start to zoom in now we're going to start doing our very first method for creating walls in 3ds Max. So obviously this is a very beginner tutorial and like most beginners you probably haven't had a chance to explore this too much but we're going to use our normal standard primitives and we're just going to create a box. All right, Now I do have my snaps tool on in the top toolbar. This will allow me to snap to the vertices that we've kind of created in our AutoCAD floor plan. So you can see here I can click and drag out and then drag up to create the different um, height. I can then enter 2100 as a custom height, standard kind of um, wall height. And then obviously that's an all right way of doing things. However, until you start getting a little bit more complex. With more complex geometry, you obviously need to create that. Extrude it up to 2100 like we did in the previous bit. But in order to tack on that extra little piece, um, we now need to create another kind of wall segment and drag it up and kind of do the same, same kind of process. All right, now obviously that's created three separate boxes, which isn't ideal. So what we need to do now is go into our different compound objects. Uh, I'm still in our create tab here, guys, and we're going to go into compound and we're going to create pro boolean. So we've obviously got one, one object selected there. Now we're going to start picking our other two objects. So you'll see me pick one and two here, all right? And we're going to merge these objects together. So you can now see that they are one complete and total wall segment. This is why I don't overly prefer doing it in this method. Um, however, we're going to jump into the second method right now. This is probably the second option that I would kind of go through. So I'm going to jump up into the top view right now, zoom on in. And what we're going to do right now is select our line tool up in our create tab, um, going across into splines and down into the line. So we've got that there. Now again, I've still got those snaps on so that I can select those vertices. And I'm gonna speed this up really quickly, but basically you're going to come along and select all of our vertices. This is why it's awesome to create your own floor plans from an AutoCAD or Illustrator vector-based program. So it can snap to those vertices. And we're gonna close that spline out. Now I'm gonna race through these next two um, wall segments because there's not too much to watch here basically the same process what I'm going to do is come down into the modify tab and create line from here by creating more wall segments from this option here instead of the way we just created it we're going to ensure that all of our wall segments kind of merge together when we go to extrude it so I'm gonna speed this up really quickly guys just to smash through these other two wall segments and jump back with you guys after that Okay, so we've just closed out the spline on that option now. So obviously we've now got our closed splines and all our wall segments done over in there. Now I'm going to turn off this other distracting kind of line off the back. We're going to come back to that in a probably 30 seconds to a minute. All right, so now that we've got our line segments, we can come up into our modify stack and type in extrude. Right, extrude is one of those kind of commands that you guys are going to be using a lot in 3ds Max. So I'm going to click this right now. And you can see that it just pops up straight up to 2100 because that's what we were kind of putting in for extrusion value on the boxes earlier. Right, so that is our second way of creating um, walls in 3ds Max. Just remember to make sure that you're kind of using that create a line in the modify and not in and not creating a new line every single time. So guys, this brings us to our third and very, very final kind of um, way of creating walls in 3ds Max. This is my preferred way. However, it does create a little bit more preparation and thinking um, in, in preparation for 3ds Max. So you can just see I've turned in the polyline there. I'm gonna jump into AutoCAD, show you guys how to create this to easily create walls in 3ds Max. Now I prefer AutoCAD because of the ease of snaps um, in AutoCAD. I think for a 2D program it is phenomenal and you cannot get better. So through here I've just created a polyline by hitting PL or selecting the polyline option and basically I'm just coming around. Now polyline will select um, all those lines are now connected instead of them being separate um, line segments and this is going to really really help us when it comes to using it in 3ds max so i'm gonna finish it off there and now i'm going to jump over into 3ds max now that you kind of got an idea of how to create polylines and i can select my polyline now that i created earlier and come back into the modifier stack just like we did before 
um, and go into my extrusion modifier. And you'll see that this will just pop up just like it did before, nice and easy, all right? But for me, it's a hell of a lot easier to kind of create these, these polylines um, in AutoCAD than 3ds Max. So guys, that's gonna kind of finish this up today. Um, there is one final little kind of tidbit that I'm gonna show you, and obviously we're going to need to do the connections above the doors. All right, so from all of that, we're now gonna add in a slice modifier from our modifier stack again, all right? And then I'm gonna hit the drop down arrow here, select the actual slice plane, and change this down the bottom to 1900, or whatever the top of your door height is. This is gonna drop the slice plane up, and you can see those extra wall segments have just kind of added in. From here, we're just gonna add an extra modifier called Edit Poly. This is another one that you're probably gonna use a hell of a lot in 3ds Max all the time, at least I do. Jump into our polygon segments, select our polygon. Now we're going to rotate this screen around and select our other one opposite. Click on these two, and then down in our options, we're gonna hit this bridge, and you can see there it closes the wall out. I'm gonna do this on one more, and there we go. So that's pretty easy, guys. Now, unfortunately, because we've created these as separate walls, so obviously we've done one through the line, one through AutoCAD, and one through boxes, you cannot use this bridge command um, on different wall segments. We can, however, kind of use our Pro Boolean like we did back in the boxes right at the start of this um, episode to create them and merge them all into one object. But as they stand right now, you can't do it. So I would suggest trying to use just kind of one method for all your major walls um, because it will make life easier a little bit later on. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button for me and leave a comment down below if you guys want to see more 3ds max tutorials or whether you want to see more sketchup photoshop at the end of the day this channel is all about you guys so leave a comment down below just say hi or leave me a comment saying what programs you want to see into the future till next time guys have an awesome week and i will see you on the next video